All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. So I'm sitting here in the tropics headquarters, the south of the border, where you can, of course, have one of these things. This is the Tigus number four. Love this thing, man. Uh, Series D, great cigar, Cuban. Uh, also, Johnny Walker <laughs> for a fifth is $97 down here. Should have brought my own. So anyway, what are we talking about today? We're talking about Uncle Joe's executive actions. And this comes to us, by the way, of Politico Biden to unveil long-awaited executive actions on guns. And for everybody who was being uh, critical of the semantics, uh, uh, executive orders versus executive actions, you know, my condolences. I'm so sorry. The announcement expected for Thursday <laughs> comes amid of a spate of high-profile shootings that some advocates have grown frustrated in the White House's delay. President Joe Biden has expected to unveil a long-awaited package, package of executive actions to curb gun violence. I want to know exactly what he's going to do that will help curb gun violence. Are you going after the gangbangers? Are you going after people who shouldn't have firearms? Are you trying to reduce uh, the shootings in New Jersey, you know, the shootings in uh, Chicago, New York? No, not really. What he's trying to do is he's just going to take away our ability to and our rights for you and I, uh, people who are good mind and body, to uh, prevent us from exercising our Second Amendment. And that not only just means uh, talking about our right to bear arms, but also our right to bear the arms of choice. Am I right or am I wrong? Leave your comments down below. The announcement comes nearly three months into Biden's term and offers a delay that have frustrated activists who wanted the president to fill the campaign pledge to take action on gun violence on his first day in office. Well, I'll tell you what he did on his first day in office. He killed a bunch of jobs, good union jobs. If all you union guys out there that actually voted for Joe Biden, shame on you. And if you don't like that comment, let, let me know why down below. Uh, so, because I'm sure he's going to have all those Green New Deal uh, jobs waiting on you. All those people in West Virginia who are sitting there waiting for those Green New Deal jobs. Biden will direct the administration to begin the process of requiring buyers of so-called ghost guns, homemade or makeshift firearms that lack serial numbers to undergo background checks. Okay, jackasses. Here you go. So what are you going to do? Say, so, well, you know, we'd really like it if you guys that bought those things a little while ago, you could go do a background check, put a serial number on it so we could track you. No. Mm. <laughs> White House players expected to join the, at the event by Attorney General Merrick Garland, who we all know is a piece of POS who an anti-gun world. Other executive actions remain unclear. The stakeholders have speculated that the president could announce regulations on concealed assault style firearms, otherwise known as AR pistols, AK pistols, that kind of thing. What's he going to do there? Is he going to require all of a sudden we have to go out and uh, get a $200 tax stamp to make turn those things into SBRs? I have a good friend of mine, Mr. J.B. Razor. Uh, he said something to that effect not too long ago to me. And I'm hoping he's not right, but I bet you that's the direction they're going to try to do. Executive action, guys. Look it up. What is the definition of an executive action versus an executive order? Because uh, I don't have time. I'm on vacation. I'm sitting there getting ready to have a cigar, drinking some coffee. Mm -hmm. mm. More than 100 House Democrats wrote to Biden last week, urging him to take action on a concealed soft style firearms, which is similar to the one used in the Colorado shooting. Yeah, whatever, assholes. At what point in time if somebody used a revolver going in to, to do this kind of stuff? Are you then going to turn around and say, oh, we got to get rid of those assault result revolvers? Or if somebody uses a bolt action rifle in an event to do some type of sniper action, oh, we got to get rid of all those high powered deer rifles. I mean, I mean, sniper rifles, no matter what they do, they will continue to try and take our rights away from us every single time. Don't give an inch. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Hashtag, <laughs> don't give an inch. That's one word, okay, all the way across. Hashtag, hashtag, don't give an inch. Um, uh, one other announcement Biden could make on Thursday is the introduction of his nominee of the Director of Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. This will be interesting to see uh, who he does uh, appoint to that position because uh, that individual is going to pay a heavy role, but watch what happens. It's going to be an individual has no idea what firearms are because that's what Democrats did. Not just, I know there's some Democrats out here. I'm not making fun of you guys. I'm just making fun of the lifelong Democrats who don't have a, a game to play in. Biden's such a jackass as a hypocrite. Uh, 
The ATF has mostly acted directors since the position. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, in response to criticism from the gun control advocacy groups that his administration has moved too slowly. What do they want us to do? So go out there and go, oh, we want all this. We want these bands. We want this and this and this. Guys, what they're looking for, these gun control advocacy groups don't understand that what their wish list will entail is a civil war. And that's exactly right. What they want will create such a volatile environment that I almost wish it would happen so we can go ahead and get it out of the way. Because this jackass... <sighs> Anyway, let's go. Wait a minute. Hold on. Got to refresh the screen here. Biden is likely to make some the same point on Thursday in addition to expressing support for bills to expand background checks. Uh, let's see. Uh, loophole that allows the gun to be transferred from the license. He also is likely to push for legislation to keep guns away from people believed to be a danger to themselves or others, as well as a ban on assault weapons and high-capacity magazines. No way. So anyway... Uh, the White House declined to comment, but a senior administration official recently confirmed that the White House was wrapping up their actions and can announce them in a series of stages. Oh, we love stages. Biden expected an announcement to come as gun sales have skyrocketed amid the year of pandemic quarantines. That's right, Joe. What's happening right now is people are taking their little stimulus checks and they're going out and buying ammo and guns. That's why they're off the shelves, dumbass. Because uh, people are worried that you are going to take away their Second Amendment rights. Get a shotgun. And first of all, Joe, do me a favor. Quit whispering to me. I'm not a child and I sure as shit ain't your wife. The administration has been working hard from day one to pursue actions to reduce gun violence. Blah, blah. We understand the urgency. No one understands the urgency more than the president and are looking forward to rolling out some initial actions we can. Yada, yada, yada. The White House has held several meetings on gun violence with prominent groups none of which were the GOA, or I hate to say the NRA, or the Virginia Citizens Defense League. <laughs> Push for anti for gun restrictions, community-based groups, and survivors of gun violence. The meeting was led by Susan Rice, because you know Susan Rice is a real honest person. Community-based groups cheered Biden's decision to clip $5 billion for community violence prevention programs. Now, what that meant, he, he donated money to all these groups. So they could continue to do things like, oh, I don't know, flag bullshit videos uh, or do bullshit flags of videos on YouTube, which pretty much shuts our YouTube channels down. This is what happens, guys. With the investment of our, do our federal tax dollars, we have an unprecedented opportunity to build an infrastructure of peace to heal and disrupt cycles of violence, said a coalition of community groups dubbed Fund Peace that push for funding. What the hell ever? Are these people, they're not down in the streets trying to do anything in Baltimore, D.C., where the violence is happening. No, what they're doing is, oh, let's take Johnny's uh, assault weapon that he bought last week at a gun show because he's not to be trusted. That's exactly what's getting ready to happen, ladies and gentlemen. I know I'm getting long-winded on this one. Uh, the Senate is even less than met in Democratic split, 50-50. Igor Volsky, executive director of advocacy group Guns Down America, Guns Down America said he hoped Biden would unveil a comprehensive plan that includes regulation, executive actions, funding, and a strategy to get legislation through Congress. Yeah, that's called bans through Congress. The president didn't just run on executive actions when it comes to gun violence. Folks. He said he promised to put forward a robust, I hate that word, robust, comprehensive plan for reducing gun violence. Given the violence he inherited, we have expected him to live up to his promise. What the hell does that mean? He inherited it. Uh, guys, this is it. What this idiot is going to do is he's going to lay out a bunch of crap. He's going to try to move forward with a bunch of stupid things. And eventually what's getting ready to happen is uh, we are going to have to put a foot down. And I'm looking forward to it. It's Cutter Boy 32. I'm on vacation. My wife's right here beside me. And uh, that's it. <laughs> Y'all be good. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. But I had to address this. Tomorrow should be interesting and we'll be keeping a watch on it. Uh, we always end it like this. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedoms not free. I'm talking about the men and women in uniform who are going to be called upon by us patriots to enforce the Constitution to reduce and limit the government and their powers. <laughs> what do you call it? The power grabs. Go to Boy 32. If y'all like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And that's it. We're uh, going to sit back 
and enjoy one of these guys right now because I live a life of about three different jobs and I need this. Y'all be good. KB32, I am out of here. Boom.